But now to our other top story tonight. A high school football team mourning tonight. One week ago, one of their very own accidentally shot himself. The team from Roseman being honored tonight. The teen from Roseman being honored tonight uh, by his high school. 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo met with the team and tells us how they plan to remember him. Laura? Jackie, all of McCraig's teammates still smile when they hear his name. And tonight, they played in his honor. Al McCraig. A family member of Roseman who was lost too soon. It was an emotional night for Roseman football as they remembered number three. He was one of the best football players there was. It was just, it was unbelievable. He was an amazing athlete. 14 year old Al McCraig was a freshman on the JV football team who accidentally shot himself last week while handling a loaded gun. I was in shock. I didn't know what to believe. Tonight, the team played their first home game since the tragedy, but before the game, a moment of silence, followed by a release of dozens of red and white balloons. <laughs> McCraig now greatly missed both on and off the field. He's big, strong, fast, physical, and always happy. No matter what, he was hyped. And when asked what they'll miss the most about number three, everyone agrees that it's his smile. It's always funny, always uplifting, always uh, always smiling, always cracking jokes. So. When you walk in, you want to smile because like he just sits there, he'll look at you with that face, and you just want to laugh. The whole school also showed their support with signs and face paintings, hoping to make McCraig proud with a victory. And then a part of me knows that he's happy where he's at. He's looking down on us, knowing. You did me good. Now it's to keep going on. During the game, the school hosted a fundraiser, selling things like blankets and sweaters. All of the money is going to McCraig's family. And that was Laura Acevedo reporting for us tonight. And Rosamond High School did win the game against Tehachapi 48 13.